All right, uh, News 12 Chief Meteorologist Patrick Corr. Thank you there, Patrick, with the morning weather update. We thank him very much as we continue our discussion with uh, uh, Dade County Schools going back uh, this week. And in the studio with us this time on this segment is uh, uh, the uh, Director of Transportation. And uh, I, I, I don't know how. He is the Director of Transportation and Director of facilities yeah so. well, you had to have a big bigger business card didn't you it wouldn't all go on <laughs> yes. there would it good morning john smith is with us along with superintendent uh engel uh everybody wants to know are, are the buses ready uh the route's going to be changed what time do i need to be there you know well the buses are ready we made sure of that yesterday that they were all starting and good to go checked them all out and they're ready to be taken out on the route i just met with the drivers just left from a driver's meeting uh, and they're getting their buses getting them all ready all the things that need to be done before the first day of school they're taking care of that today and the routing as far as the routing goes uh, we are going to do our best to keep it the same as last year although there are a couple of changes that will take place due to shortage of drivers we've had uh, one driver that uh, has left us and another that is retired and so we we were already down one driver so right now we're down three drivers and so because of that we're going to have to combine a couple of routes and add a little bit to a couple of routes and you know kind of rob peter to pay paul kind of thing on, on a few of them uh, and it might make just a little bit of variation in times uh, particularly up in the sand mountain area in the new home routes uh, that uh, that's going to be probably the most affected uh, but other than that uh, we are not going to make any changes this year we're going to try our best to keep them uh, the same as we ended the year last year Okay, uh, d just quick, because I, I remember the day growing up here. Do you have any second loads anymore? No, we do not. Uh, okay, because we all, I always rode the second second load to Piney, mm -hmm. so I had to wait just to school. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, thankfully our uh, our school board has hired more drivers, and we have more drivers now than we used to have. And because of that, we're able to, uh, to not have any double routes, uh, which is really nice. It cuts down on the time, and uh, it's a whole lot more convenient for the parents and the students, especially on the buses that don't have air conditioning on hot days. Air conditioning? What is it? We didn't have any air conditioning when I was riding the school bus. Yeah. Well, we do now, and uh, we're in the process of, of getting new buses and updating our fleet to where well, now we have uh, 12 buses. We've ordered 12 buses over the last four years, and we're planning on ordering three more. They all have air conditioning, so the vast majority of the routes uh, will have buses that have air conditioning on them, which is fantastic, especially in August. Absolutely, absolutely. So maybe uh, just to, I guess, be uh, uh, bearing with the changes that may have to take place, especially in the new home on Sand Mountain area because of the maybe a little bit longer time. So if your bus is not there exactly when it was last year, wait a few minutes, it's more likely just going to be delayed. That's correct. And those students that live on Brow Road, uh, they will be, and on Wells Road, they will be riding a different Sand Mountain bus. We have several that are assigned to Davis, but their their bus will change this year to bus 20-2, and, and that's because we're having to combine them because of a driver that we have a driver shortage, so we're having to kind of uh, combine a couple of routes, a, a couple of roads, so those will change. Uh, we're only having able, at least initially, to have one bus cover the entire new home community. We think we can do that. We're going to look at it. We're going to start the year that way. That's bus 20 dash or 20 i'm sorry 21 dash uh, three uh he will be t uh, covering the entire new home area uh and hopefully with, with as far as numbers we're just going to have to see how that plays out uh but we're going to start the year that way because we hopefully have help on the way uh, a driver that's supposed to be able to start the first of september to be able to put that route those routes both the exact same way so the first month in new home might be a little dicey uh but we're, we're not going to do anything that's unsafe uh but there'll be one bus picking up all the students in new home inside the new home uh, community and i guess we need to add too you've got the paving that's going to be going on 136 from highway 11 all the way to the alabama line that's going to uh, may figure in mornings and afternoons with the bus routes going up and down the mountain and also they still got morningville ridge road closed for the time being hopefully it's going to be open here in the next week or so but i don't know if you have a bus that goes over morganville ridge or, or not but uh that uh, that may cause a little 
you know, delay or something, at, uh, you know, because of that. Yes, we do. And and I've already spoken with the driver on that route that covers that. And she'll have to divert instead of going over Morganville Road. She'll have to divert and go on Sligo Road uh, and go down past the KOA. And that'll just add a little bit of time to the route. But again, that's just going to be for maybe a week. Uh, yeah. And then that will be back to normal. Well, sounds good. John, thank you very much for coming in. It's always uh, a question you get asked, you know, the bus is going to be on time, you know, this time of this type of thing so uh, great job of explaining everything and hopefully uh, the parents and guardians and grandparents out there that have to make those decisions will will we'll bear with you for the first few days yes please sure. do we appreciate everyone's uh, patience uh, every time at the beginning of the year it always gets a little confusing but it just you know in a week or so everything typically smooths out pretty well all right. Well, sounds good. We do have a new segment coming up uh, here on the KWIN Today program. We invite you to uh, stay with us. We're going to continue on this morning. We're going to continue on. And, and John had to step out. With uh, he's got a uh, got meeting. meeting. He had a meeting he had to run to. We're going to continue on. We got a new segment coming up, and then we will, uh, of course, give you the rundown of the songs to be listening for this afternoon. They're good for tickets and get your name in the drawing for the interest off of one million dollars. And we'll continue talking with um, all of the uh, principals as we head back to school here in Dade County. Nine thirty-two. Let's get uh, a news update now. <laughs> 